हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज परितोष ठाकुर विश यू ऑल ए वेरी हैप्पी एंड सेफ दीपावली एज यू ऑल नो दैट आई वाज ऑन एनुअल लीव एंड ड्यूरिंग दैट ट्रैवल आई हैव आल्सो शूटेड सम ऑफ द वीडियो बट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू दैट सब्जेक्ट मैटर सो ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट एड पार्ट वन आई हैव प्रोमिस दैट आई विल कम बैक विद द प्राइमरी सर्वे एंड सेकेंडरी सर्वे सो टूडे प्राइमरी सर्वे प्राइमरी सर्वे टू रिमेंबर दिस देर इज वन एक्रोनिम दैट इज कॉल्ड डॉक्टर ए बी सी डी here doctor means d r a b c d so d for danger so when uh, you are approaching to the casualty you make sure that you are not putting yourself into the mode of casualty or you are making someone more to to casualty like you are facing to the traffic uh, running traffic right uh, like you are facing looking out uh, some of the space which is slippery or where you can trip or fall uh, some of the electric shock for the example uh, i am taken from the bollywood movie and let's have a look on that once you have ensured that there is no potential danger then start uh, approaching to the casualty so the first is response so response means uh, that the casualty is how he is responding for that we have to use one scale named avpu scale so here a for alert we have to look that the casualty is moving their leg or their hands or any parts of the body if not then proceed to the v v means voice if the uh, casualty uh, responding to the voice like if you are asking hey uh, how are you are you listening to me if he is responding uh, then to move for the next one that is pain pain is uh, that if they are feeling if they are expressing they are feeling if they are by their moving their hands legs or any part of the body and if not then uh, do an activity just see it uh, that place your hand on the collar bone of the casualty and ask them loudly that hey how are you feeling is it okay are you okay are you okay if he is not feeling are that okay? then at this point you have to declare them you can consider them you can assume them the casualty has lost their sense casualty is unresponsive to remember this i have put them on one uh, one slide that is a v p u an alert voice response uh, <coughs> place pain unresponsive so a alert b for voice p for place or pain and u for unresponsive after this a v p u scale we are uh, moving to the next step and the proceed for the airway airway uh, like uh, when the casualty lost his sense their tongue is stuck up so you have to uh, make them the tongue is to down and open the airway to do that to perform that there is one method that is called uh, head tilt chin lift where you place one of your hand on the forehead and another on the chin and open them open their mouth to open the airway so the air can pass and then after the airway b that is breathing breathing you have to listen the casualty uh, to their uh, to your ear uh, whether they are breathing or not sometimes slow breathing or interrupted breathing can confuse you so be alert that how uh, is the breathing is going on if breathing is correct uh, <clears throat> then okay if breathing is not correct put them in the to, into the recovery position recovery position is called like hand uh, under the chin to keep the mouth open and one of the leg bent to the support position this position is called support and the arm bent always to the upside and then the one of the leg should be straight this is the recovery position where the <coughs> casualty can get their breathing as fast as then the second position is c c is circulation or pain here uh, if the casualty is uh, unresponsive and he is not in the position uh, to breathe uh, or he is slow breathing so start the cpr and at the moment before starting the cpr you must call 299 
or the, your the country reference number of the emergency number or uh, the, then after doing the cpr you also ask to some of the bystander that please call the aed aed that is defibrillation d is defibrillation so defibrillation is a electric shock machine which uh, releases mild shock to uh, to get the heart beat at your normal position so if uh, normally uh, normalize the heart beat you are using the aed aed means the defibrillation uh, in the machine of the defibrillation there are two disc which we are keeping on the chest and then follow the prompt which is released by the aed machine some machine having the only voice response so they are saying some aed machine have the visual prompt as well so you see there and this <coughs> follow their rules but remember at this point you must consider that it is done with the conjunction with the cpr for the cpr you need some experience if you are knowing to someone who has experienced or if you uh, call them to who has experience but be remember that cpr and defibrillation is uh, to be done together if not uh, then even then you keep continue but try to be the like 5 to 6 mm on the chest to deep down and electric shock together because uh, one uh, 120 uh, cpr and then one shock like that the activity is to be uh, to be said by the machine so uh, better to uh, concentrate on the listening or the prompt or the visuals whatever you are receiving and follow the same uh, thank you very much have a nice day bye bye